What's up guys? Robert with Liquid Creation. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be building a tabletop. Well, I'm going to start cleaning the wood to build a tabletop for a uh, nice, nice little, uh, I guess you'd call it a barn style coffee table. But uh, it's recycled pallet wood what it is and to start things off I gotta I've already got all the nails out of it now I've got to get the staples out of it so I could run it through my planer get it nice and clean uh, I'll trim the edges up on my table saw once I get it planed down to the size that I want it and then I'm gonna break out my little lynch burner and uh, burn it make it nice and pretty so this is going to be a short video. It's going to be a series of videos for the simple fact is I still have to have a full-time job and I do this every afternoon after work. So instead of making one long video, it'll be a series of shorter videos. And let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Would you rather have a series of shorter videos or do you like the longer videos? I find it's it's not working out too well for the channel with these long videos, so I'm gonna try something different. But you guys let me know what you like best. So I'm gonna spin the camera around and I'm gonna start cleaning this wood up. We're gonna go step by step from the very beginning through to the very end of what it's gonna entail on doing this uh, barn style coffee table. So. Stand by just a minute. All right, guys, here's what we're working with. You gotta forgive me, I gotta put on my eyeballs. I can't see, I'm an old man now. These staples right here, they will ruin your, uh, excuse me just a minute. They will ruin your planter blade if you run these through your plane it's going to chip your blade and ruin it you don't want that to happen I'm undecided a hundred percent on exactly and I apologize for the cars and stuff driving by I'm having to do this outside because I don't have a little workshop no more but that's for another tale what you want to, and I, I'll uh, secure this knot right here with uh, some epoxy once I get it all planned down to the size that I want it. I mean, I'm not going to take the thickness down too much more, not even a quarter inch on each side, maybe an eighth inch on each side, just enough to get rid of some of these. Uh, places like this where the staples were. These whole mills, that don't bother me. It gives it character. Once I get them all clean, make sure you got to look and make really good sure you got all the staples out. Because I'm telling you guys, a staple will ruin a planter blade. That's one and I'm not sure if we're going to go any more than three wide. I think I make make this top of it two sections, and that way I can run them through my planter because my planter is 13 inches wide. Uh, I see like that right there. I didn't even see them. I felt them. But I might make it 13 inches. I mean, uh. Two sections on top and just glue and clamp them together that way I can get them perfectly flat because I'm gonna break up my little homemade lynch burner and see if I can get it to work and I'm gonna burn some nice designs in the top of this 
me and my wife has been talking about moving somewhere up north because as a kid I was raised in the Everglades of South Florida and and now I live in North Florida and I am absolutely sick of living amongst everybody. N not that I have a problem or, you know, with people, that's not it. I just, I like being out. I feel like I can breathe better. And I just want to be out. So if any of you guys, and I, I'm looking to buy land by owner or owner finance or something like that. I don't want to deal with no banks. I'm trying to do everything without getting a bank involved. I'm sure some of you guys, gals, can appreciate that. So if any of you guys or gals out there have any land that you might want to sell, it, it could be just bare land. It could also have power on it. Eventually I will be on solar. As of right now, it could also have a little house, just something to rent to own. That's what I'm looking for, some land. Maybe five acres. I would even go down as small as an acre if I had to. Preferably five acres, but you know, beggars can't be choosy. I really am looking to get where, let's see, I've been looking at the Ozark Mountain Range, somewhere in that area, or northern Idaho, somewhere in that area. I'm just, I'm wanting to get to where it's off-grid friendly, if you know what I mean. Um, sick of dealing with power companies, and I want to be able to produce my own food, or most of it anyway. I'm sick of people telling me what I can and can't do with the place that I live. I mean, I don't destroy stuff. I, I take great pride in where I live, I've never clean. Let me uh, get my planter out real quick and we'll go to the next step. All right guys, it's stuff like that that you wanna get out of your wood. Anyway, I'm gonna be milling these down. The final top is gonna to be uh, 36 inches by 24 inches. It's not gonna be that long, it's not gonna be that wide. I need to figure out which side is actually flat. It ain't gotta be perfect. This is gonna be a rustic thing. So, like I said, guys, let me know in the comments if you'd rather have a long video or shorter videos. I feel like the longer videos are not doing the channel any justice. Anyway, I apologize for the noise. Josh the noise guys but anyway I'm gonna finish getting these plane down and I'll get right back with you. Hi right, guys you can see it's gonna be some real pretty wood it's gonna be a pretty top. I just gotta get these uh, edges squared up to where when I clamp it glue it and clamp it it's gonna be straight tight joint but this is gonna be one set I'm gonna trim the edges excuse me I'm going to trim the edges to where I have a total width of two of them of 12 inches. That way when I get these seams cleaned up and square 90 to the top, I can run it back through the planer and get a nice beautiful top. And I'll do these two the same way. That way whenever they get good and dry together, I can clamp them together. It's going to make one nice tabletop. Well, 
barn style coffee table is what I'm going for. Then I'll trim them to 36 in length. I'm going to take and put a, a chamfer on the edge all the way around, top and bottom. I'm going to take the same way I did on my sink. I'm going to take my router. I'm going to router a uh, groove in here and countersink either some all thread or some uh, channel of some kind. That way I don't have to worry about them pieces moving. And I think I'm going to put this one in the middle. I don't know if I'm going to use that knot or not. Might just use that side right there. I think that'll look better. But I will end up putting, let's see. I'm not quite sure which way I want it. I think that looks pretty good right there. That side looks real good. That side looks good. That side. Possibly that side. Anyway, I want you guys to let me know what you think about it because this is not set in stone yet because this is just going to be a quick little short video to let you guys know what I'm working on, show you me starting it, and get your opinion on if this would be one, two, three, four. If you think I should keep them in this order, or if you think I should switch them around, I want to get your guys' opinion on it. So you let me know in the comments below what you think I should do here. But the next step would be, obviously, I can't do it this afternoon because I've got neighbors and they already raised hell about me running power tools out here as it is. I don't care. This is my peace of mind. This is what I do. So I'm going to keep doing it. This is why I want to get out of here, get up north somewhere where it's a little cooler. I'm sick of this damn heat in Florida, and I want to go somewhere where I can make sawdust and have nobody bitch at me. I apologize for the language, but uh, I'm fed up. Anyway, yes, please let me know in the comments, guys. One, two, three, four, if you think I should keep them in this order, or if I should switch them around, what would you do? How do you think it looks like this? So forth, so on. Anyway, you guys know what I'm asking. Anyway, it's going to end up being 24 inches this way, 36 this way. So I'm going to, once I get these two halves glued together, and that's another damn reason I want to get out of here. I'm sick of the traffic noise. I can't do nothing without a damn car or truck going by. Anyway, let me know in the comments if this is the way you would keep it. This is going to be so sweet. I'll show you a picture of one like it that I'm shooting for. And uh, give you an idea of what it's going to look like afterwards. But anyway, guys, let me uh, move the camera and we'll talk a minute more. Hi, right, guys. Like I said, let me know in the comments below if uh, you would keep it, keep them in that order or if you think they should be moved or whatever. Bugger, it's hot out here. But uh, yeah, that order, you would move them, which way you would move them. I got them numbered the one, two, three, four. You would put whichever, whichever. Let me know what you think would look good. Uh, and if you guys know of a place somewhere, northern Missouri up in those Ark Mountains, or I guess that's what you'd call them, or Idaho, or somewhere in them general areas, I'm trying to get out of Florida in this heat. I'm sick of it. I know it gets hot up there, but it, trust me, it doesn't get as hot as it does down here in Florida. With the damn humidity, oh God, it's killer. 
times. And like I said, this is going to be a series of shorter videos. If that's something you guys would rather have, because personally, I feel like the videos I've been making are too long. Like that right there. That's just time wasted. Here comes another one. Anyway, let me know if the shorter videos is something you think would be better for you guys to watch and for the channel in general. For the channel in general. And uh, this is going to be part one out of, I don't know how many parts it's going to take to do this. But uh, anyway, please, if you guys know of any place up there where I mentioned up north for rent to own, some land, please email me. Uh, my emails should be down there in the description box. If not, I'll give it to you. Just let me know in the comments. And uh, like I said, this is part one of a few different, there's going to be a few different parts to it because I want to make these videos shorter. This is a little video here just to start to give you an idea of what's coming. So uh, please, if you uh, get any value out of any of the videos that I make, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, get yourself subscribed. That way you'll be notified when the videos do come out. And any of the stuff that I use, the epoxy, the uh, uh, superior polyester, what I seen that sink together with, I use that a lot. That's in the description below. If you go, if you want the epoxy that I use, which is I think top of the line. There will be a link in the description. It's uh, Wise Bond Epoxy. And there will be a 10% discount code there for you as well. And no, they don't pay me to say that. They don't give me the first dollar. The discount code is Kellogg10, K-E-L-L-O-G-G-1-0. -G you go to their website through that link. You purchase something. It doesn't matter what it is. They have all different kinds of tools and stuff. You use that code at checkout, you get... 10% right off the top of your price. Anyway, I'm babbling now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and edit this video real quick, get it online. That way I can start this series because, like I said, I got to do this every day after work and I don't have much daylight time. But uh, yeah, I look forward to getting on with this build. I love you guys. You're the best. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Please leave me a comment, even if it's just to say hi or criticism or, like I said, I also want to know if you guys will leave this witness orientation. All right. Peace, guys. Love you.